Hey guys, welcome. It is day 65 of 366. If you're joining for the first time, I'm reading one passage a day, every day for a year and a day from the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday, uh, in hopes that the teaching will cross the path of someone that needs to hear it. Uh, August 2nd, we can work anyway. Indeed, how could exile be an obstacle to a person's own cultivation or to attaining virtue when no one has ever been cut off from learning or practicing what is needed by exile? Sonius Rufus lectures. Late in his life, after a surgery, Theodore Roosevelt was told he might be confined to a wheelchair for the remainder of his days. With his trademark of bullience, he responded, All right, I can work that way too. This is how we can respond to even the most disabling turns of fate, by working with whatever room is left. Nothing can prevent us from learning. In fact, difficult situations are often opportunities for their own kinds of learning even if they're not the kinds of learning that we'd have preferred. Masonius Rufus, for his part, was exiled three times, twice by Nero and once by Vespasian. But being forcibly expelled from his life and his home didn't impinge on his study of philosophy. In his way, he responded by saying, All right, I can work that way too. And he did, managing to squeeze in some time between exiles with a student named Epictetus, and thus helping to bring Stoicism to the world. See you tomorrow.